there ever any kind of moment where where you have, kind of have to force yourself to say like, hey, we, I need to trust this process? I mean, I think in that time between that couple weeks where we we, had, we really had no coach, um, we didn't really know what to expect, and we heard a lot of rumors, but we had no clue what was going on. And so I mean, we stay connected as a team, just uh, through our group group chat, and just really trusting each other that we knew that. Uh, the University of Michigan would make the right choice, and obviously they did with Coach Howard. And so we just had to take it one day at a time and just kind of trust the process. Obviously, I'm sure you've been uh, super motivated heading into all your seasons here, but is there a little extra fire going into this year since it's your last go around here? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you got, you got to make the most of it on your senior year. And so, I mean, the XI and uh, Austin, we just got to go out there. And I mean, come in every day practice, work hard, and just go out there and have fun. And, um, and obviously at the end of the day, it's, it's our last year, year here, so uh, we got to make the most of it. You knocked down a handful of big threes last year. Obviously, we're going to see you on the perimeter as much this year? Yeah, definitely. I'll still shoot the three ball this year, so you'll still see me out on the perimeter as well. Not taking that part out of your game or nah, anything, are you? Nah, I'll keep that in. <laughs> Speaking of which, John, I mean, with, with the transition from B-line to Howard, I mean, how is that affecting the uh, so, play? Are you more in the blocks now? Is there any more attention on that than perhaps so, you know, high ball screens and you know, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of everything we got in our offense. I mean, yeah, I'll be on the post. Yeah, I'll be on the outside as well. And I'll be setting screens. And I mean, just kind of run through the offense. I mean, if something breaks down, then I'll go set a screen or they'll throw it into me. And I mean, just kind of play basketball. We'll play inside out, we'll play outside in. And, uh, I mean, regardless of what we do, we just got to go out there and make shots, knock down shots, and hopefully win the game. Has that been a tough transition from the two coaching styles, B line to Howard? Probably. I mean, it's just been a different change a little bit. I mean, obviously, with Coach B, I was up more on the perimeter. Um, now, Coach Howard. We kind of both both sides, and I mean, just go out there and play my game because I know I can play with my back to the basket, or and I can be on the printer, so I can really do both. Thanks. Coach Howard was saying this afternoon how he'll often get out there and demonstrate stuff down low in practice. How valuable is that to have a coach who can actually do stuff like that? It's huge. I mean. You, he, when we split up the individual groups, uh, he's always working with us. And I mean, he'll, he'll split us up, guards, wings, bigs, and he's working directly right with us, bigs. And so that's huge. I mean, obviously, he's played here, he's played at the next level, so he knows what it takes. And uh, I mean, we can ask him questions, he's more than willing to answer, in the, answer them. And then, even in drills, he'll go up and um, he'll demonstrate one. And I mean, he, last week he went up and dunked one, and we all went crazy uh, for him to do that. So it, it's cool to go see him still go out there and. Um, just kind of be himself really out there. So he can still throw down? Yeah, he does. He does. <laughs>